Well, 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 well. Got another free laptop. This is a Dell Inspiron 8200 in absolutely mint condition with full docking station. This machine is a Pentium 4 1.8, I believe. It's one of the um, earlier Pentium 4 M's with speed step technology. And uh, let's just tell you what it is exactly here. This is a Pentium 4, 2 gigahertz. Um, but it says 1.20, so I don't know what that means. Maybe it's a dual speed, perhaps, or a multiple speed. It's got 512 megs of RAM, which I will upgrade to a gig. Built-in track point and trackpad. Um, there's really not much else to say. It has a 40 gig hard drive and a built-in DVD CD or W drive. If I'm not mistaken, that's what it is. No, DVD ROM and CD or W. That's what it is. So, pretty sweet. Also has built-in Firewire, modem, Ethernet, and onboard 802.11b card. Um, Stereo speakers, infrared. This is basically your fully fully loaded notebook of around 2000, 2003 or 2004, which is when it was built. Docking station. Let's squeeze this and ejects. It switches profiles automatically. Not bad. Back on there. Lock it. And this will take a Kensington lock, you can lock it in place. The docking station has headphone out, serial, PS2, USB, two ports, I think there's one on the side there somewhere maybe. Of course, VGA out, modem, LAN, pretty sweet machine. This is a client's laptop, he was ready for an upgrade, and uh, he was going to throw it out. And I can't allow that, so I, I bartered with them. The deal is, I have to destroy the data that was on the old hard drive. Now, the hard drive, by the way, is um, over here somewhere. Oh, here it is. This is the original hard drive. It's a 40 gig Toshiba. And it contains some seriously sensitive data. The drive is partially functioning. After it warms up, it stops working. Um... And I'm not going to waste time trying to fix a 40 gig webbook drive. Um, but the data on here is actually very crucially sensitive. So I, it runs a business on it. So I've got to be very careful. I need to destroy all data. So, the reason I'm making this video. There was a guy on YouTube who had almost the same, almost the same model, I think. Dell. Not even all that old. It was a perfectly good, perfectly functioning machine. And he wanted to teach YouTubers how to destroy data so that no one else can get their sensitive information. The joke was on the on the watcher, of course, and possibly even the guy who made the video. Because all he did was he used... He didn't use his brain, he used his brawn, and he used all kinds of power and macho crap that doesn't do shit when it, works, when it comes to technology. This is what he did. He took a... A double barrel shotgun, I think, and he blasted a bunch of holes in the perfectly good monitor. He then smashed the keyboard in with a hammer, I think, and I think he tried to set it on fire. Then hawked it in the trash. The joke was on him because the hard drive, even even if it was physically damaged, is still fully recoverable. With the right tools and the right no the right technology, you can extract data off of any hard drive, even if it doesn't work. So the guy was an absolute idiot. If he thinks that that's going to destroy the data, he's got another thing coming. There are many ways to destroy data, and they all require physical damage to the platters. Or, if you're savvy enough, um, overwrite the drive more than once with ones and zeros. But most people don't understand how that works, so they want to see physical destruction, and that's what I'm going to give you in this video. So without further ado, let's destroy the data on this hard drive. Okay, 
Once you remove the drive's top cover, you can now see the head assembly and the platters. In this case, there's only one platter, and it's probably made of glass with some sort of media coating on top of it. So let's go ahead and liberate the platter from the drive, like so. Since we don't really care about reusing this drive, we're just going to put our finger on the, on the platter there and prevent it from spinning while we turn the center hot screw off. Oh, you may want to remove this right here, which is actually the load-unload mechanism for the heads. I don't need that anymore. And there it is. There is one platter. Now, I don't know what it's made of. It could be metal, it could be glass, it could be a combination of the two. Who the hell knows? What I do know is I want to destroy this because it contains sensitive data, customer's uh, information. In fact, very, very sensitive stuff. So what we're going to do is demolish it. Be very careful when doing this because if it is glass, it will shatter. Let me rephrase that. If it is glass, it will shatter and the, and the shards are extremely sharp. I have shattered one accidentally once. Um, and uh, let me tell you, this is not your ordinary glass. Um, if it's metal, it'll bend. So what do we do? Good question. I don't know. Hmm. Well, let's test to see if it really is glass. That's what we'll do. If it's one thing I've learned, it's how to tell whether it's glass or metal. Here we go. Now this will also destroy the media in the process. This is an ordinary microwave. This is not something I'd recommend you do in ho at home um, or to a microwave you even care about because you could burn out the uh, ah, details. Let's turn the lights off and cook it. Under on the stop button. It's glowing red. See that? Okay. Now the dangerous thing is, because it's glass, or it could be glass, it could easily shatter with thermal shock. Like